The Philippine National Police acknowledged the analysis of the Commission on Human Rights over the alleged abuses and violence in the conduct of anti-illegal drugs operations since July 2016. This was based on the 500 cases during the drug war campaign of the government which the CHR looked into. PNP Chief Police General Guillermo Eliazar says they respect the investigation as this task falls under its constitutional mandate. But the main reason behind the investigation conducted by the CHR is the same reason why we coordinated with the Department of Justice for the review of the police operations relating to the campaign against illegal drugs. Based on the report, only 11 survived out of the 466 individuals who allegedly resisted arrest during police operations. The CHR also stressed that 87 victims had mostly multiple gunshot wounds on different parts of the body. Eliazar says they also want to know the truth on the allegations. We in the Philippine National Police would also want to know the truth because these allegations of human rights and extrajudicial killings that have been hounding us in more than five years have resulted in sweeping generation that all our operations against illegal drugs are tainted with abuses. But the PNP chief also expressed that the war on drugs resulted to the decrease of index crime in the country. This unfair to a number of our operatives who have died and were wounded in the conduct operations and this grossly ignores the fact that the efforts and sacrifices of our men on the ground have resulted in the unprecedented reduction of index crimes across the country. The DOJ, through the cooperation of the PNP, has started its investigation on the drug war death in which 52 cases were already checked by the National Bureau of Investigation. Leia Ilagan, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.